Hey everyone, Dominic here, bringing another rabbiting report. So for this game here, we have the introduction of the Saurian Ancients. Uh, this is actually my girlfriend's army. Uh, she's been working on it for a little while now, and I get a chance to finally play it. So, uh, with our last league wrapping up, we decided to have a bit of a uh, game stay here to introduce introduce the new league. Uh, what we did is we had a three game event. It's an escalation type uh, game stay as well. Uh, so the first game being 2,500 points, uh, the second game being 3,500 points, and the fourth, the third game being 4,500 points. Uh, with each list, you have to include everything that you included in the previous list. So the 2,500 point list uh, has to be uh, the same that you had for the, the 3500 point list has to be the same that you had for the 2500 point list. Uh, you can add on units and add on to units, uh, but you can't take away anything that you had before. So, uh, With that in mind, uh, the first game is going to be Saurian Ancients versus Highborn Elves. Now the deployment type was Counter Thrust, with Hold the Ground as the secondary. Uh, there's one other thing that we changed up for this as well. Uh, hold the ground only being scored at uh, turn six, actually. So just to change things up a little bit. And these uh, small point games tend to go pretty fast. So uh, let's get started. Uh, so for my opponent's list here, uh, it's a fairly new player. Um, had a chance to get a, a few games here and kind of still learning the game. But uh, he's got some spearmen back here with a banner. He's got uh, ten sword masters. And I believe they have full command. Uh, he's got some Sea Guard back here. He's got a Wizard Master of Pyromancy up here. Uh, also has that 3-up Aegis save. He's got some Queen's Guard back here. Uh, two Bolt Throwers. Another unit of Sword Masters up front. And some Highborn Lancers. Uh, so that's his army. Uh, for the lizards, or the saurians, sorry, <laughs> uh, we have a taurosaur with an engine of the ancients. We have a quadal lord. Uh, he's got uh, symbiosis and the spear of shielding. We have 18 jaguar uh, warriors here. Spears, Full Command, and the Banner of Discipline. Uh, this unit is exactly the same as this one. And then in the center here we have seven uh, Raptor Riders with Full Command. So uh, that's a quick look at the table here. As you see we did use the small table size for this game as well. Uh, but we didn't change the magic. We did keep the, the regular magic as it was. So. Uh, Highborn Elves took turn one. Uh, so we didn't do too terribly much moving here. Uh, just kind of moved up and he's got the ranged advantage, so he wanted to, to press that. Uh, he goes into magic, he does a bubble flaming swords up here, and he gets that off. And then I believe he tried to do the uh, favor of Milady, and I stopped that one. He does shooting. And actually does pretty bad. Only knocks off a single uh, Raptor Rider up here. And other than that, that's kind of how the table looks like as we go to turn one for Saurian Ancients. Uh, so for me, I move up on the, uh, the far flank with the Taurosaur pretty aggressively. And we also continue to press up on this flank with a one unit. Just holding back, I didn't want to get too close to those sword masters because I know what they can do. So uh, we go to magic phase. Um, we did. Uh, we've got a divination, is what the quadles got, and I'm also new to divs, so I forget the spell names. But we did the uh, 2d6 maximized roll uh, that wound on a four plus with I think it's just one AP or no AP, but you have to reroll your special saves. And uh, as you see, his. Uh, his wizard master succumbed to that, which was really surprising even with that 3-up save. Um, especially since I only actually, if I remember right, I only caused 4 wounds. And he failed of 3 of them. So, that was really lucky on my part. Um, 
And that's pretty much it. Uh, because of that guy being destroyed, he actually causes a bit of a panic chain. Uh, those Queen's Guard that were here, they decide to head home. And I believe the Bolt Thrower here also failed its tech and is just going to be shaken. Uh, so this is going to be turn two for Highborn Elves. He's going to go in there, into the Spears, makes it in no problem. And that's pretty much it. He continues to move forward with the uh, the Swordmasters a bit. Uh, it got out of Arc of the Taurusaur for this flank charge. And is just getting ready to receive the charge with the, uh, the Spears here. Uh, he's got no magic. Shooting over here, I think he shot at the... Uh, I forget if he shot at the Taurusaur. I think he did. I think he tried to do both single shots at the Taurusaur and ended up missing with both. So, In combat, as you see, he, uh, he had a bit of a rubber lance syndrome going on. Didn't cause a single wound, and I actually just killed him outright with the spears and AP3. So we kind of uh, pivoted on the spot like so, and we're going to go to turn two. Uh, just quickly what the table looks like. Uh, so over here, the Taurosaur is actually going to go and charge the uh, the Sea Guard back here. He does his terror check, he's good, and he does a stand and shoot, which I actually believe causes a wound. Um, yep, and but I make it in there. Uh, I just press up over here, I get ready, so if uh, basically these sword masters can come in, I know they're going to do a lot of damage, but I'm hoping I can just stick around uh, or just do some severe damage to them and then wrap up whatever's left with the uh, the Raptor Riders and the same thing over here if he charges in here I can get the flank charge either way so that's kinda what I was planning here uh, the Quaddle comes back here in a bit of a danger zone because if he does break this unit which is very possible uh, he can overrun into the, uh, the Quaddle and that's not gonna be good so, uh, we go to magic. Uh, we get know thy enemy, and we put guiding light on this one unit of the spears in front of the quaddle. Uh, we do an unerring strike over here, and I think it's, uh, I believe it actually only killed two. I rolled really low. Didn't do it maximized. Um, maybe only one. But uh, put the guiding light back over here as well for the other attribute, and that's pretty much it into combat we go up here and we just actually wipe out the uh, not entirely wipe out we killed all but like three of those um, those sea guard he breaks we pursue and unfortunately go past the bolt thrower here so uh, but that's how the table looks like is we're gonna go to turn three for highborn elves so he's gonna declare this charge in the front he's gonna make it in and I believe he actually holds off on this charge just because he didn't like the, the buffs I had and decides to do some shooting at it. So this is uh, a couple bolt thrower shots that he does here. I believe he shot at the quaddle uh, just to try and get through that two up but uh, didn't really do anything so we go to combat. Uh, I do stick around and I do put a bunch of damage to him. Uh, he does kill quite a few of me but I'm still steadfast and, and sticking around. So, uh, Just quickly, that's how the table looks like as we go to turn 3, 4, Saurian Ancients. So over here, the other unit of Saurian Warriors are going to go into the flank of these Swordmasters. And then the... Uh, I was worried about this one, but I figured let's try it out and see what this army can do. Uh, they're going to go into the front of the Swordmasters over here. And the Taurosaur is just going to turn around and try and do some damage. I believe in this round I actually chose the... Uh, maybe I kept it just because he's got the shooting. But I think one of the rounds here I actually chose the minus to my... Um, minus to my casting here. So either way, that's how it looks. As we go into magic. Uh, we do Spark of Creation and we managed to kill off one of the Bolt Throwers. And we also get Know Thy Enemy and put Guiding Light on the Raptor Riders. Uh, just to make it even better, we also managed to get Scrying Off. And I think I put Guiding Light on the... Uh, I think it was on the Quaddle. 
Yes. So, uh, we go to combat. We wipe out this unit of sword masters, no problem. Just pivot on the spot like so. And over here, he kills me down to a unit champion. Uh, we break and we get away. But it is going to be his turn four coming right up. So, uh, so that's how it looks. He's going to charge. I have to flee. He tests to redirect into the quaddle, and I decide to flee. See if I can get away. And I do actually, surprisingly. He rolls really low for that, and we get away. Um, other than that, he just sort of. Uh, I think he actually backed up a little bit, pivoted on the spot, and backed up with the spear block just to keep out of arc of that Taurosaur. So, uh, in shooting, I believe he shot the bolt thrower, killed off a few more of these uh, warriors back here. And that was pretty much it. Uh, so, yeah, this is going to be turn four for Saurian Ancients. We're going to charge into that bolt thrower up here with the Taurosaur. Makes it in, of course. And that's pretty much it. Uh, we move up both the uh, warrior blocks. Uh, one's going to stay towards the center and pick it up the objective. The other one's going to go ahead towards these spear blocks just to block them. Uh, with the double minimized roll from the quaddle and even on half discipline for this uh, unit champion, we rally both guys and we sit like that. So uh, We go to magic. We do spark a creation over here. We kill off a few guys. And that was pretty much it. We do some shooting, and I think we may have killed a guy in there. But uh, that's how the table looks, as we're going to go to turn five for uh, Highborn Elves. Uh, so he declares a charge from those sword masters and the quaddle again. I flee and get lucky. I'm just like about an inch and a half away from the table edge. And he's out of arc so he couldn't redirect he decides to just stumble forward I guess and these spears are gonna go for it as well uh, really quick because that's all he had we fight this combat he does very minimal damage to me and I do more back to him uh, break his steadfast because I think he might have had the same amount of ranks but either way we win he breaks and we catch him uh, so that's how the table looks like is we're gonna go turn five for soaring ancients uh, this one, we actually, I think I declared a long charge into them. Uh, we, uh, we do fail that charge. Actually, I may have just moved up. Either way, uh, we rally the, the Quaddle. Yeah, we just move up the, the Taurus, or we're going to try and do the, uh, hits. That's what it was. I decided to do the, the D3 hits against this unit. And, uh, other than that, the rest of the blocks just move around, and we come up to Chaff those sword masters with the last remaining unit champion from that uh, raptor rider unit. We go magic and we get scrying off and put guiding light on the quaddle. That's pretty much it. Uh, rolled the hits, caused one hit, didn't wound <laughs> and that was pretty much it as we go to turn six. So he charges in to scoop up those points uh, which he does of course and that's pretty much it. Uh, it's Saurian Ancients, turn six. We charge into the rear here to try and make it. Uh, it fails. And we do magic just to try and kill these sword masters, but they uh, they do survive. We didn't get the last spell off. so uh, That's how the game is going to end. Um, ends up in a 20-0 victory for the Saurian Ancients. So, uh, fun game. Uh, like I said, small games like this can go pretty fast. I think it was like maybe 45 minutes to an hour kind of thing. So uh, pretty fast and, and good to be able to, to show a new newer player a few things about how to play and, and a few other things to take in consideration when he's playing. So um, yeah, really fun game. Hope you guys enjoy these battles. Stay tuned for the next one.